but her moments of wonder. Our planet is changing, and not in a good way, like into a butterfly or a giant magic shoe. And we're all to blame. I'm talking about climate change. 19 centuries ago, there was an industrial revolution which used coals. Coals is a fossil fuel, which means setting fire to dinosaurs. It's this dirty dinosaur gas which has been blamed for climate change. What's more, so many dinosaurs were burned for steam trains that nowadays there's almost no dinosaurs left. Rising temperatures are a worldwide problem. Experts say they're responsible for making the North Poles melt, meaning too much sea. Not everyone wants to live in the sea. You don't have to be a scientist to know that. You just have to have seen a little mermaid. She hated it. The government says we need to cut our greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. But if, like me, you don't have a greenhouse, they say you can reduce your carbon footprint by not flying and walking more. But my feet swell up when I walk, which is why I came here in a car. Storms battering the coast, tornadoes, blizzards, rain, women in bikinis, floods. If we keep discussing climate change at such an alarming rate, scientists predict the world's stock of weather footage will be exhausted by 2050. But not everyone thinks climate change is real. This hot topic has split the science community straight down the middle, 90-10. To hear both sides of this debate once and for all, I found one climate expert. Good afternoon, what are you? My name's Andy Watson, I'm a um, marine, atmospheric and climate scientist. How does weather actually work? And if you could make it snappy, because it's going to be on iPlayer. Um, well, the, the atmosphere is constantly in motion. And this motion means that you get winds if the air is rising. Yeah, I'm going to need you to be a bit more snappy. Um, you get rain, you get snow. Snappy. Uh, 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 In one word. Uh, energy. Energy, yeah. The world's getting hotter, isn't it? But how can we stop ourselves from turning into steam? What do we do? Should we just start eating more salad and stuff like that? It's certainly true. We will have to adapt. To, uh, to a warmer climate, and and we will probably have to eat different things. Uh, because Ice cream and stuff. Um, well, certainly as the world gets warmer, you know... Probably going to be an ice ban, though, isn't it? So we can't have ice lollies. I don't think so. It's not It's not that bad. How hot is too hot? You know, I mean, will we be, like, going out all the time? If global warming happens really slowly, then the world could probably adapt to being quite a lot warmer. It will be long gone by then, so... Well, that's true, but you've got to think about, you know, our children and our children's I'm children. I'm not going to have kids, I don't think. Um, you, well, some people are... Yes, some people will. Yeah. Yeah, but, it, but not, not until, like, their children's children, so... We don't sort of care, do we, about them? Well... There's a difference between thinking climate change is man-made and thinking climate change is made up. But I can't remember it, because I'm too hot. And that might be a warning to us all, a global warning. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be finding out where do fists come from?